Hello my lovely Virgos and a warm welcome to your annual horoscope 2020 to 2021. This promises to be a very powerful year. We've got six eclipses instead of the usual four. We've got some powerful conjunctions with Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter coming together and the beginning of a new decade. So an opportunity for a lot of new beginnings for you, lovely Virgos. Let me break the year down for you. And just to let you know, because I know you like taking notes and making lists, uh, at the end of the video, I have a list of the important dates that are coming up during 2020. So if you want to just relax and enjoy it, everything will be there at the end for you. So January the 10th. We start out with an eclipse happening here, a lunar eclipse um, in your 11th house. January the 12th, we've got Saturn and Pluto coming to conjunct together. So we've got an activation here of the 5th and the 11th house happening a lot during this year. So what's this about for you? Well, the 11th house has to do with your social circle, your friends, the people you mix with the organisations and communities you belong to. This is shining a light on this life area. What changes need to happen here? What are you not satisfied with? Where do you need to be proactive and make those changes? It's also an opportunity for you to look at what are my dreams, what are my wishes for this year? What are my New Year's resolutions? And how does that relate to the wider community around me? Because the choices that you make for yourself, if you become happy and enjoy um, and feel fulfilled with what you're doing, that rubs off onto all the people around you and onto your social circle. So here with Pluto and Saturn and Jupiter, of course, in that fifth house, this is a wonderful time for uh, looking at your creativity for maybe opening up to uh, doing something entrepreneurial. If you're trying to start a business and you're thinking of giving up, Pluto and Saturn may be saying to you, hey, hang on in there. Put the effort in, keep working hard. Don't look for instant gratification. See what it is inside of you that needs to be developed. Maybe it's your self-esteem, your self-confidence. Pluto and Saturn here is wanting you to, <clears throat> uh, to let go of all the things that are making you unhappy. The things that just really don't rock your boat anymore. What can you do just to let them go? So that something new can come in. Because you could, with these aspects, have a very successful personal business. Offering a service or a product, or both. And on March the 22nd until July 2nd, we've got Saturn coming into your sixth house. This is a wonderful opportunity for a look at your physical health, your physical well-being. Some of you may decide to study uh, health and healing at a very deep level. You may decide to take a serious course in one of those holistic areas. It's an opportunity as well to restructure your working life. Maybe it's time to change direction in your career. Maybe it's time to restructure what you do. And also a good time to look at uh, how you use your time. Are you being productive? Virgo is above all you want to feel useful and efficient and productive. And this gives you an opportunity to really work on that life area. April 4th. June 20th and November 12th, Jupiter and Pluto come together. These two together are very powerful. They can bring great abundance, wealth. So you could, if, especially for those of you in your own business, create great riches at this time. It also gets you to look at the great riches that you have inside of you creatively. Now, it might be music or art or cooking or painting or gardening 
or something scientific, making games, creating games, whatever it is, it's time to dig deep with Pluto and to really bring out the hidden gems inside of you. Because really, uh, it can bring you great abundance. It's also a time where speculation can be uh, successful. Go carefully, but uh, maybe an odd lottery ticket could pay off with Jupiter-Pluto actively going on in your fifth house. May 13th to June 25th, we've got Venus going retrograde in your 10th. When Venus is retrograde, sometimes an old love can come back into your life. Maybe an old thing that you used to love doing can come back into your life and be more prominent. You get these messages saying, oh, go back to that, you used to love it. Venus as well in this 10th house can mean that you uh, really reassess what gives you pleasure in your work area. Maybe it's time for a change. It's not the best time to get into a new relationship, but it can be a good time to revisit old relationships and maybe get back into them or see that you've made some huge progress and that things are healed and you can move on. June the 4th, we've got a lunar eclipse happening here in your fourth house. And June the 21st, We've got a solar eclipse happening the 11th. So this 11th house getting activated by the eclipses this year, lovely Virgos. So important to think about what are my dreams, my wishes? What do I want to manifest? And to see that all things are possible. To not necessarily get into that place of saying, oh, I'm not sure, I don't think this can happen. But to open your mind and your heart to wider and bigger possibilities. It's also wonderful by the middle of the year that you can meet some really great new people and really that are inspiring and really stimulate you for new ideas, new things that you can get into. And this lunar eclipse happening in the fourth, you might be thinking of moving home, state, location, or you may make some changes to do with home and family. Saturn goes back into your fifth house from July 2nd to December 7th. Once again, encouraging to look at structure in your life. What structures need to go? Where are you being too rigid? Where are you being fearful? Go into the fears and then be ready to release them. Don't let them haunt you forever. July the 5th, we've got a lunar eclipse happening in, where have you gone, uh, here, or in this fifth house. So you're really getting stimulated, Virgos, to take pleasure seriously. You are work buddies, right? You love work, you love being uh, efficient, but here it's about melding work with pleasure. For me, my work is my pleasure. I'm, I'm so lucky I get to do this because I love what I do. It's about for you finding that joy in yourself. And on uh, September the 9th to November 13th, we've got Mars going retrograde. When Mars is retrograde, this is not the best time for starting new projects, but it is a good time for completing old ones. It's also important to find ways of releasing pent up emotions. So if you can go off and exercise, but not too hard. When Mars is retro, it's not the time for super duper heavy training. It's time for gentler activities. Maybe Tai Chi, yoga, gently done, of course it can be vigorous. Swimming, anything that's a gentler type of activity is very good during Mars retro. You may also be reassessing um, your ability to trust people. What's in the way of you trusting? What are you holding back to protect your heart? And where can you release those fears from the past? November 30th, we've got a lunar eclipse happening in your 10th. And December 14th, a solar eclipse happening in your 4th. So 4th, 10th house activated. Again, this possibility of a move 
or change in your circumstances. Maybe you'll move somewhere a little bigger. Maybe you'll downsize and consolidate. It's a wonderful time for decluttering, getting rid of all the things you no longer need and making space for something new to blossom. And then on December 17th, we've got Saturn going into the 6th and on December the 20th, Jupiter joining him. So here, an activation 6th house for you. You might be restructuring your work in some way. You might be expanding your skills, going to back to school, learning something new. And also a wonderful opportunity for healing your physical body. Maybe studying the healing in greater depth and really bringing about some great alchemical changes and miracles in your physical body and also maybe helping others to heal. Virgos, you are known to be a wonderful healer. So that may to be stimulated this year. You might want to have a personal reading about this year, what it holds in store for you and how you can make best use of its energies. Maybe with some astrology and some channeling. And I want to thank you so much for watching, for liking, commenting, and I read them all, sharing and subbing. Bye for now.